Today in English Literature, we are going to start a new chapter, chapter 20. It is a poem, The Peddler's Caravan. Before we go ahead, the first thing which you need to know is, what is a caravan? Now, a caravan is a vehicle which can be horse-drawn or nowadays modern day caravans can be pulled by attaching it to a small car or maybe the entire caravan is you know it looks something it's a bigger version of let's say a tata winger okay so that would be a caravan and a caravan is a place in which one has all the facilities of living in like it will have a bed a small area where you can cook your food and a place where you can store your things next who is a peddler a peddler is a person who travels from place to place selling things okay and it is in this way that he earns his money now in this poem the poet wb rance he expresses his desire or wish to travel with the peddler man so that even he can enjoy traveling around even he can see the various places that the peddler man sees and travels to the poet feels that the peddler man lives a very exciting life a life that he too would want to live so that he would come back with lots of good memories of his travel the peddler's caravan by w b rands i wish i lived in a caravan with a horse to drive like the peddler man so right at the beginning of the poem the poet expresses his deep dis desire to live in a caravan and he wants his caravan to be just like the one which the peddler man owns a caravan that is driven or pulled by a horse where he comes from nobody knows or where he goes to but on he goes now the poet tells us that nobody knows where the peddler man comes from or where he goes to the reason being the peddler man does not have a fixed address like you and me he does not live in a house like you and me he travels his house is a traveling house his house keeps moving wherever he wants to go he takes his house with him and that is the reason why nobody knows where he comes from and neither does anyone know where he goes to now over here you have some real pictures of peddler men and you can see that they are selling various kinds of goods and wares pots and pans and various knickknacks and you can see that they have horse drawn carriages okay their caravans are horse drawn if you look at the uh, picture on the right you'll notice that there is a horse of course it's not part of the picture now here we have another peddler man who travels in a caravan which sells dry goods and groceries that's what's written on the side of the caravan and he also sells coffee if you can look at it closely you can see coffee is also written by the side so these are the things that the uh, peddler man sells his caravan has windows too and a chimney of tin the smoke comes through so now the poet is describing the caravan he says that the caravan is not a closed uh, vehicle it has tiny windows and he expresses his excitement like you know he is like absolutely amazed that wow this caravan even has windows you know that kind of amazement you can see in these pictures the small windows that the caravans have and a chimney of tin the smoke comes through now the caravan is also equipped with a chimney now remember i told you that the 
caravans are equipped to have facilities like a place to sleep it can fit a bed in it it has a small area where you can cook your food so when you cook your food the smoke needs to move out of that room so it is the chimney which takes the smoke out of the caravan so the caravan not only has windows but it has a tin chimney through which the smoke passes out and the peddler does not travel alone he travels with his wife and a baby brown now why baby brown baby brown means this baby has been traveling around and is exposed to the sun so much that he has turned brown okay he has got sun tanned and they go riding from town to town so here in this picture you can see a real peddler man traveling with his daughter and wife okay and maybe the son is there in front and in the other picture you can see a few peddler uh, men and his and their families living in caravans and for now maybe uh, they have settled in this place for some time because they are waiting for their goods to be sold once they are sold they'll move off to the other place